Hi old folks, this is Max from GalaxyS3Root.com So today I'm going to show you how to install a custom ROM on your Galaxy S3 um, Before you install a custom ROM, make sure um, you make a backup of your apps using Titanium Backup App Although you can reinstall them one by one from Play Store um, If you don't want to do that uh, I'll have a link to how to backup using that app And also for contacts, I use Gmail if you don't use Gmail, just make a dummy account just for your contacts because it gets auto-synced when you just sign into Gmail. It makes things so much simpler. Uh, for SMS text messages, um, go ahead and use uh, SMS text backup app on Play Store. There's a bunch of them. Um, just They work fine. So use that to back up all those things. And once you've backed up everything, uh, we're all ready to go. And uh, I don't need this cable. And uh, you have to have a rooted phone, of course. And uh, if you don't have a rooted phone, just go to my site, GalaxyS3Root.com. You can root your phone in about three minutes. And after you're doing that, uh, you should have Clockwork My Recovery. So let's boot into Clockwork My Recovery. What you want to do is press the volume up button, center button, and the uh, power button together for about one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine nine seconds yeah there we got the count now and from here um, you're gonna do a wipe data factory reset you can do it without wipe data factory reset but most custom ROMs I do recommend you do a wipe data factory reset um, so go ahead and do wipe data factory reset this this is gonna erase all your personal settings um, and uh, apps so that's why I told you to make backup um, next, go to also make a backup of your ROM. Um, make a backup of your ROM at least once. You should have done it. Uh, and go to install zip from SD card. Um, choose zip from SD card or wherever you copy the uh, ROM file to. Um, I forgot to mention that. You have to copy over the ROM file. If you didn't, uh, go ahead and reboot and uh, copy the ROM, whole ROM file. It's a zip, ROM files come in a zip file. Just don't unzip it uh, on the Mac, it will auto unzip it. Don't unzip it, just copy it over to the SD card or the internal storage. And uh, you can actually choose internal storage or SD card, but I put it on my SD card. So choose it from SD card, and I'm going to go to my GS3 directory, that's where I put all my ROMs. And I'm going to install the Omega uh, 4.2 here, I, uh, ROM here. Click there and say yes. and uh, this will install the ROM. Usually it takes about five to five minutes. And also make sure you have uh, enough battery, at least 50%. Um, you can brick your phone if you don't, um, if you don't have enough battery or plug in your you know, AC cable. And uh, sometimes you, you'll get a graphical, in, um, graphical uh, installer like this, then just go through the menus. Um, usually it'll just install it. Sometimes these things get iffy. Yeah, there you go. And uh, you can choose, you know, add-on and stuff. Um, you can do custom mode. I'm just going to do the default. All right, and install, install now. And there you go. And this will install. This is a graphical installer, but most ROMs, um, they might not have it. Then it will just install. Um, you'll get a bunch of, like, you know, things that it's, it's installing. Reboot, and you're all good to go. Um, actually, this is a pretty good ROM. I've been watching the XDA thread, and uh, I think this is the best ROM out there as far as the features. Uh, one of the highlights about this ROM is that it has the uh, the better camera. It actually has the hacked mod. Um, I forgot the user's name, but um, anyway, it does have the hacked mod, so it'll get give you better bit rate on the um, on your video camcorder, which is really cool, you know. Um, uh, it should be done. So I'll be back when this is done. So that is done. Um, just go to next and reboot your device now. And that's it. And uh, your phone will have the new ROM. Um, the Galaxy S3 is the most hackable device ever, um, especially because they made the recovery partition separate. Just like a Galaxy Nexus, but it's like four times more powerful and uh, more features you can do with it. So this is the ultimate phone of the year, I think so, um, as far as hackability. And uh, that's why I like Samsung devices. 
I, you know, I could care less about anything else. Just as long as I can root it really fast and install a bunch of custom ROMs and just make it the way I want to. Um, that's my priority. And it's a good phone. It's a very good phone. It's I love it. It's it's a very good phone. So um, if you end up in a boot loop, um, sometimes that can happen. What you can do is reboot into recovery. The same thing, volume up, center button, and the power button. And you can wipe cache. And that will usually solve 99% of boot loops and whatnot. And you can also just try rebooting. Just hold down the power button if it doesn't the first time. And if it doesn't boot up the second time, try that uh, wipe cache method. I'll have another video that I can point to. I get like a hundred questions people asking me, why is my phone not booting now? Um, just go clear cache. And also you can wipe down the cache under advanced menu. That can also help. But usually just the, what happens is the cache is a temporary space um, and uh, when you install a new ROM, you can get corrupt and it can kind of mess things up. You just have to clear it, wipe it, format it, reboot, and usually it fixes things by itself. So when you first install a new custom ROM, it's going to take a while just the first time um, just because it's it's like installing a whole new Windows system or, you know, Hackintosh on your computer. Um, but there you go. I got United Kingdom, United States, start. And that's the new ROM, as you can see, a bunch of stuff. Once you get to this point, you're all pretty much good to go. Um, if you get any, again, if you get any force closes or anything, I'll show you how to um, fix that. Let me skip all this. No. Um, but usually if you don't get any errors by this point you're all good to go and boom I got the new ROM you can check the version of your ROM you have by going to settings and uh, down at about device and it'll show you um, I have Omega ROM there uh, I got it so if you get any problems like you can't download apps from the Play Store or something Here's what you can do. Go reboot into Clockwork My Recovery. Hold down, uh, volume up, center button, and the power button, just like you did before. We're just going to go back into Clockwork My Recovery. And uh, give it a second here. I think it was nine seconds exactly. Um, and I'll show you those menus. And here, um, every ROM might have a different Clockwork My Recovery, but maybe not. Go to White Cache Partition. Do that. This is completely safe. It's not going to do anything. It's going to wipe the cache, and most likely you can just reboot and uh, we'll fix things. If not, you can go to advanced, go to wipe all the cache. Um, these are all temporary spaces we're just clearing. And uh, yes, some people do it on every ROM uh, install, but I don't do it, I'm kind of lazy. Um, go back and reboot system now. And this should fix most of your boot loop problems. If you have that, first thing you should try that is this, and then leave a comment on our site for help um, otherwise the first thing we're going to tell you to do is that and that will fix most of your uh, I can't download off the Google Play Store or um, it's in a soft brick soft boot loop um, but most ROMs you shouldn't have that problem uh, just in case it happens I was just showing you and when you clear the cache it's going to upgrade that all that it's going to optimize your applications anyway that was how to install a ROM on your Galaxy rooted Galaxy S Three. Uh, if you have a Galaxy S3, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS3.com. We update you once a week uh, with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me via email if you uh, break your phone or do something wrong with it. Um, and also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button here, uh, subscribe button up here. It helps me greatly. Um, I would appreciate it. Thanks a lot if you have. Um, and use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And also, we're giving out a Galaxy S3. Don't forget to uh, enter the contest. We only only got uh, two weeks left. You can sign up at highonandroid.com, and there's banners everywhere um, on the sites. So you can click on it, enter it, so you have a chance at least. Um, have a one chance, you know. And uh, I guess that's it. And stay high on Android, folks. And you know what? It's a great stay. Yeah, later.